Okay kids, now for our next fun project. We are going to make a motor. And to do that, we're gonna take this bag that has the little putty in it and the wire. And inside is a wire. Some putty that we're gonna use to hold our battery. Two um, copper armatures. And a couple of little beads that are from Kelsey's bead set. Thank you, Kelsey. Okay, and we're gonna use the battery assembly that we made before when we made the electromagnet with the nail. So we still have our battery with the washer in it and the rubber band, okay? So first thing I want you to do is to make another electromagnet. And to do that, we're going to wind this wire around the battery, okay? And leave, off, leave over some copper wire at the end. This is the copper strip for you and just start wrapping it around and around and around just like that okay and when you get it all the way around leave again some leave the copper over like this okay and we're gonna slip that right off the battery and we've got a little coil now that's gonna be our next electromagnet and hold it together all right and this can be a little tricky let, let me know if you need some help but basically we're gonna take it and put this through here. Okay, we're gonna wrap this around on one of the sides first. So all we have left over is a little piece of copper wire sticking out. Okay, and you can pull that wire smooth so it's nice and straight. Okay, and then do the same thing on the other side, put it through. And we're gonna wrap it around and around. Just like that. Okay, making an electromagnet that's going to be part of our motor. This is the part that's going to be spinning around and around when we get it going. Okay, so that's going to look something like this, and you want it to be nice and straight. So try to look at it this way and see if it's straight. Kind of straighten, straighten it out a little bit like that. And then look at it this way and try to make it straight. Okay. All right, and while we have this in our hand, I'm gonna come around with a, a marker, and we're going to mark one side of it, just on the top, like this, of this side with a marker, and on top of this side. And that is so that when our, our motor's spinning around and around, the current from the battery will only go through it when it's spinning on one side. And you'll see what I mean in a minute, okay? Let's put that down, grab your battery, and let's put these armatures in. So the hook is going to go up so we can so that can hold that electromagnet we're making. Something like that. And then same thing on the other side. Match it. So it'll it'll work on the other side. You may have to pull this back a tiny bit, the rubber band. Stick it in. There you go. Okay. Whoopsie. That came out. There we go. Okay, and then take the rubber putty and stick it underneath. We're just gonna use that to hold our motor assembly, okay? Now we're gonna put this down right here so we can watch it. Okay, and we'll grab our wire and insert a bead over one end like that. And that bead over the other end like that. And then we're going to fit it right over here with the beads they go on the inside. And you'll see this can spin around and around and around like that. And maybe flatten it out a little bit, squish it flat so it doesn't touch the battery. You can do that, that's fine. It's still an electromagnet. Okay, and try to make it straight. And then we spin it around and, you know, make sure that it could spin freely. So you've got an electromagnet. It might get warm like the, like the nail did. But anyway, that can spin. Now if we put a magnet near it, it starts spinning. We made a motor. Pretty cool, huh? Can you do it? Let's see. Let me know if you need help.